Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Some of you guys have been asking me to do a Q&A, so I asked on Twitter and I used the hashtag Ask Samantha and here are some of my best questions. Okay, so one of the first ones we've got is, how did you get into shape so soon after giving birth to baby Paul? That's a really difficult one because I haven't really done that much. I mean, for the first couple of months, you know, you're at home with your baby and just relaxing and chilling and I mean, I lost quite a lot of water weight quite quickly. I um, very healthy and clean eating, like all the meat that I eat is organic. I home cook a lot, I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables, which I think plays a massive part in it. Don't get me wrong, I do love a treat and I do love an Indian. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, having that balance of a diet and I don't know, like my personal trainer and I, she started coming around to my house like two to three times a week and we was doing like more toning than um, cardio. And I just have like a real kind of healthy balance with it all, but I'd say mainly diet. I can't put it down to one thing. Honestly, it's the most amazing thing. I think for me, like waking up every day to your little baby with their like lovely, happy, smiley face is kind of the most amazing thing that you can't describe. Mums can describe it until you're a mum. I can't even say it because I, I get speeches when I talk about it because it's just the best thing in the world. How many children would I like to have? Ooh, I want lots of babies. I would probably like to have four or five and that's no exaggeration. If you could give one bit of advice for mummies to be, what would it be? Right, that's really difficult because you just can't prepare yourself to be a mum, like you can get all the advice in the world, um, but once you're there with your baby, it just becomes like, like you know, a natural mother instinct. I think um, get as much sleep in as you can before you give birth, because um, the first couple of weeks it's hard. So Claire has asked, where do you see yourself in five years time? Five years from now, so baby will be five. I would probably like to have three children by then. I would like to have moved home. I would like my YouTube channel to be an amazing success. I would love just to further my career, um, my photography, which I really enjoy. I think I would, I would love to be a much better cook than what I am now, because I'm really getting into the cooking at the moment. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm not as good as my mum and my nan, so. By five years, I want to like have, you know, be be as good as them. I've been having so many requests from you guys on Twitter and social media. So this is one of like the main reasons why I started my own YouTube channel. Um, Georgia here asked, would you ever start a beauty YouTube channel where you do tutorials, etc., or a mum YouTube channel? And yes, there's going to be so much more coming to my channel as well. I will be doing beauty tutorials, and um, I can do tutorials on about being a mum and with baby Paul. So yeah, and um, I'm just so happy for all the support. Tiana has asked, what's your favourite makeup brand, and why is this your favourite? If you haven't already seen my top ten beauty essentials, click here. But I'd say probably my favorite brand of makeup you know I just love makeup I've got all different but um I'm a real big Charlotte Tilbury fan her stuff just amazing quality not only is the packaging nice the colors are great the pigments are good um, I love the lip glosses and the lip liners she does it already set up for you so you can buy like the whole kit for your face which suits your tones and skin color she has a good brow pencil yeah she's probably up there with my favorite makeup. One piece of advice that I would give to teenagers, probably don't believe everything that you read. Um, there's a lot of pressure out there, especially in like social media now, and teenagers are under pressure to be you know, a certain way or look a certain way. And they're reading stuff which could be really misleading. And um, yeah, I just think, you know, be yourself you know, enjoy life. You don't have to conform to be what other people expect you to be. You can just be yourself. It's always the best way. Another question, what's your favorite thing? Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the baby. What's your favorite thing Paul likes to play with mommy and daddy? Right, this is so random, but baby Paul loves a tea towel on his head. <laughs> you can hear him. If you throw a tea towel on his head, then pull it off and go boo, he like hysterically laughs. We can play that for like, a good half an hour before he like even, it just, he finds it hysterical. I think he might be playing it now. What's your favorite clothing item you bought for baby Paul? Well, I have had some lovely things for him, but I just love babies in white baby clothes, toweling and just like nice soft cotton. So I would say that's my favorite thing that I put him in. But I suppose maybe I got him this when he was, <laughs> put a sock in it. <laughs> when he was newborn, we had this lovely like all in one, 
little Burberry coat for him and it was quilted. So it was just like plain cream. It was so lovely. Um, we got so much wear out of it as well. It was so cold. I am new to this YouTube channel um, and I'm loving all your support, guys, that you're giving me. Again, if you're not already subscribing, please do so now and I've got so much more to come. And if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, the links are below. Okay, thanks guys and I'll see you this time next week. Bye.